forms to file claims after the storms. NBC 26's Holly Baker is live in the Green Bay newsroom to explain what to do when disaster strikes near you. Cassandra, when storms hit and trees literally fall, they can damage homes, materials, and property. But there are steps you can take to get moving again as quickly as possible and get help paying for the damage. People in Door County are on the road to recovery. It's going to be a big day of cleaning up today. Like owner of the Shallows Resort in Door County, Bob Dixon. Yeah, it was a mess. After damage on his property and his guests. Four cars had trees on them. When faced with damage in the wake of a storm, State Farm Insurance Agent John Allen says start by inspecting your home or vehicle and try to prevent it from getting any worse. Get your claim started. Your policy may include wind damage and falling objects. That's typically what's happening in a storm is either wind is causing the damage, blowing shingles off, or trees falling. So those things are specifically covered by your insurance. Your insurance company is also a good source of recommendations for tree removal companies and answering common questions. If your neighbor's tree falls on your house, it's your insurance that covers that. Your neighbor doesn't have any responsibility for that. And when it comes to coverage... If you don't have car insurance, you're probably out of luck. <laughs> preparation is key. Obviously, we'll file a claim and we'll hopefully take care of the, the damage and the loss of business. And that's, of course, a big concern for not only, you know, the shallows, but for Door County, too. When it's time to begin picking up the pieces. Now, another note for anyone who's filed a claim, you should keep track of any receipts involved in the cleanup process, including any time you actually spend working on it. It's something you could be reimbursed for when you file your claim. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Holly Baker, NBC 26.